this unit, we're going to study number sense. In this lesson, we're going to look at adding and subtracting integers. All right. Hi, everybody. So in this video here, we're going to take a look at adding and subtracting integers. Okay. So now when we're adding integers, this is what we're going to do here. If you've got two positives, then the final answer is going to be positive. Your result will be positive here. Okay. So for example, if you have positive seven, you add to it positive four, the result's going to be positive 11. Okay. So we're starting with two positive values. We're going to end up with a positive value. Now, if you've got two negatives, the result will always be negative. If I add a negative seven to a negative four, I'm going to get negative 11. Okay. And so both are negative. The result is going to be negative. Okay. Um, and one way to think about this is, for example, you might think of the first number here as where you start on the number line. So here's, here's seven. So positive seven, and I'm going to add, meaning I'm going to go this way. How much? positive four. So I'm going to go forward one, two, three, four. Okay. And so if I start at a positive value, adding a positive, I'm going to continue to go in this way here. If I add a negative, so the first number here is negative seven. So here's negative seven. Now here's, this is, might seem a little bit weird, but hopefully you get a kind of a sense of what's going on here. I'm going to add. So I'm going to be trying to move this way. However, I'm going to add a negative. So it's, if you think about it like this, it's almost like you're standing on you're standing on the negative seven and you are facing this way, adding, but because you're adding a negative, you start walking backwards. One, two, three, four. Okay. So you're facing this way, but because it's a negative value that you're adding, you're walking backwards. And because you started at a negative value, if you go to the left, you end up with a negative value. Okay. So where this gets a little bit more complicated is if you've got a positive and a negative together. So the sign of the larger number will determine the overall answer. So here's sort of how this works here for seven plus negative four. So here we are at positive seven. I'm going to add. Okay. So here I am standing on that seven. I am facing forward here, but because I'm adding a negative, I'm going to take steps backwards. Okay. So one, two, three, four, and that's seven, six, five, four, three. Again, that's how I get to the positive three there. And the result is positive. And it's positive because the seven is further away from the zero than that, than that four that takes me backwards. Okay. However, if I've got positive two, and again, here's, so here's my zero, let's say uh, one, two, I'm starting here on two. So I'm standing right here. I'm going to add, meaning I'm facing forward here, but I'm going to add negative five, meaning I'm going, to, I'm going to walk backwards. So I'm going to take a backward step, one, two, three, four, five, and that puts me back there at negative three. And that is because where I started, the distance from zero where I started is smaller than the number of steps I took backwards here. So if the gen integers have the same sign, when we add them together, we're going to use the same sign as the sum. If the integers have a different sign, we're going to use the sign of the larger number. Okay. So hopefully that gives you just a little bit of a, a sense of how that works here. Now, when you're subtracting, okay, you're going to kind of use the opposite, uh, add, add to the opposite method here. So you leave the first number and then change the subtraction sign in the middle to an addition sign, and then change the sign of the second number to the opposite sign, which sounds a little bit confusing here. So there's a couple of ways that we can, there are a couple of ways that we can think about this and I, I'm, I'm going to kind of try to help you out with this. So the method being described here is this, if I've got five minus two, okay, what I can do by default is I can change this kind of a problem to something that looks like this up here. And if I understand this one, then, then that's a step forward here. So, instead of subtracting a positive two, basically what I can do here almost is, is like flop those signs. Basically what happens here is I'm going to change this to adding a negative. Okay. So five positive five, add a negative here. For example, um, again, I'm going to change, I'm going to take this subtraction. Here. I'm going to convert it to an addition by changing the sign on this here. So subtracting, sorry, starting at negative seven, I'm going to, instead of subtracting negative four, I'm going to add, and then you add the opposite. Okay. So I'm going to add positive four. 
Now, and that, that works great here. However, if, if you want another way of, of kind of reasoning this thing through here, let, I'm going to go back to this right here. And I'm going to kind of stick with my analogy that I started before with the standing on the number and, and facing a different direction here. If I stand on five, so I'm going to do this one right here. If I stand on five, if I do subtraction, I'm going to face left. And then I'm going to subtract two. So which means I'm going to take a forward step one, two, and that takes me to three. Okay, so what happens here is the the sign in the middle here tells me what direction to look. Now, so if it's positive five tells me where I'm standing, subtract tells me I'm facing this way, positive two means I'm gonna take two forward steps. Or I could think of it as I'm standing on five, okay, standing on five, I'm adding, so I'm gonna be facing this way, facing to the right, but I'm adding negative two, which means I'm going to take two backward steps. And either way, I'm going to get to three. Okay. If we look at it this other way here, the second one here, if I start at negative seven, so I'm starting here at negative seven. To subtract means I'm going to face this way. Negative four. Now, as soon as I'm subtracting a negative means I'm facing this way, but I'm going to take a backward step. So I'm going to step backwards one, two, three, four, and that gets me to negative three. Or I can change this into adding. Okay, so we're still starting on negative seven. I'm still standing here, but I can change this to addition. So I'm facing to the right, and I'm going to move forward four steps. One, two, three, four. Either way, I get to negative three. Okay. Now, in any case here, let's take a look at some examples uh, that we can work through together. So you get a, a sense of, again, how the pattern works. Okay, so we're just going to start working through a whole bunch of problems here. So four plus negative six. Okay, so I'm starting on four. Okay, and I'm going to add, meaning I'm facing to the right. I'm going to add negative six. So I'm going to take six steps backwards. So I'm facing the right, but I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. That's going to put me at negative two. So the answer there is negative two. With this one right here, actually, I'm going to clean up the clean up the number line there. Negative five tells me where I'm starting and I'm adding. So negative five adding means I'm facing to the right, negative two, but I'm going to take two backward steps. So one, two, facing to the right because I'm adding backward steps, negative two. So I'm going to go to negative seven. And there we go here. The negative plus a negative is going to be a negative. Here, negative nine plus facing to the right, positive four. So I'm going to take four forward steps here. One, two, three, four, and I'm at negative five. So again, because they have opposite signs here, okay, because the larger number here was negative, the result is negative. Whereas like, look at this one here, start at positive five, adding means I'm facing to the right, negative nine. So I'm going to take negative nine steps, sorry, I'm going to take nine steps backwards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I get to negative four. And again, because the larger number is negative, the final result there is going to be negative. Okay, let's take a look at some more here. Nine minus positive three. Okay, so now, now let's think of it like this. Without the number line here, I'm starting at nine. Actually, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to continue to use that number line here. In fact, Maybe what I'll do is I'll, I'll fold the paper here so that we can just, just look at the number line here. Give us a sense of how this is all working. So I'm going to start at positive nine. So I thought it was negative. I'm positive nine. I'm going to subtract, meaning I'm going to face to the left, positive three. So I'm facing left. And I'm going to take three forward steps. One, two, three, which gets me to six. So the other way of thinking about that is we could think of this as positive nine, plus the opposite sign, negative three. So I'm starting at nine, I could face forward, but then take three steps backwards. Either way, I'm still gonna get to six. Positive eight, okay, minus negative two. Now, if, if you kind of, if you're working with the way I've, I've been kind of explaining it with the walking here, I'm standing on eight, I'm, I'm going to subtract, meaning I'm facing to the left, negative two. So I'm facing left. I'm going to take two steps backwards. That's going to get me to 10. Or we could change sub 
subtraction to an addition, but I have to change the sign. Basically, I can change it to addition as long as I walk in the opposite direction here. So change that to positive 2. And 8 plus 2 is, is 10. Negative 3, this is where I start, minus, facing to the left, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, because I, I walk forward, and that's going to end up being negative 7. Or I could think of it as adding negative 4. And so I'm standing at negative 3, adding faces to the right, but because it's negative, I go backwards, 1, 2, 3, 4. Either way, I get to negative 7. All right, 19. 19 is not on our on our ch uh, chart here. So we're going to have to think about this. So negative 19. Well, I can change this okay, to a positive here. I can change negative 19 to addition as long as I change the sign to a positive 3. So that would mean I would be standing on negative 19 and I would add, face this way, 3. So I'd go forward 1, 2, 3. What's well, going to be 18, 17, negative 16. Or I could think of it as standing on 19, subtraction, face to the left. Negative 3 means I walk backwards 3. Eh, this one here is going to be a little bit more complicated because of the decimals. Okay, but I'm at 1.3 and I'm going to subtract 1.2. Okay. Now, in this particular case here, yeah, this one might be easier if you think about it right now is changing the sign, make it positive 1.3 plus opposite sign, positive 1.2. Okay. Now, these aren't integers and we're our, our primary focus here is on integers, but the rule uh, is the same whether you're working with integers or not here. 1.3 plus 1.2, uh, in, in kind of a sense here, this is like 13 plus 12. Uh, your answer is going to be, uh, if it was 13 and 12, your answer would be 25. But in this case, because of that decimal, there would be 2.5. Okay. Now we're back to decimals. And actually, these ones are, are looking good here. We can, we can use here. Starting at negative 7, I'm going to subtract 4. So subtract means I'm facing the left. I'm going to walk forward. 1, 2, 3, 4. I can tell that's going to be negative 11. Okay. Or I can change that to negative 7 plus the opposite sign. So on negative 7, I face the right and then take four steps backwards. Uh, negative 8 minus negative 6. So negative 8 minus, I'm facing to the left. Negative 6 means I'm walking backwards. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I get negative 2. And again, I can change that to negative 8 plus the opposite sign here, positive 6. All right, now we're looking at, again, numbers that aren't, aren't specifically integers. 2.1, and I'm going to take that subtraction, I'm going to turn it, turn it into addition, adding a positive 1.2. And again, with the decimals there, I mean, I could do this, I could do this vertically. It probably helps even to do it vertically if I add it like this, 2.1, 1.2, and add those. And just add the digits. 1 and 2 is 3. Drop the decimal so that they all line up. And then 1 and uh, 2 is 3 again. So this becomes 3.3. 3. Okay. Um, this one's a little bit harder to see if you're thinking about it like walking along the number line here. Um, only because the steps that you're taking aren't kind of these full integer steps. But if you get used to the idea of moving back and forth along the number line using integers these sorts of problems become a little bit easier. When we add another number to it, yeah, we're, we're increasing the difficulty a little bit, but uh, my, my advice to you on the, with the questions like this is just take it easy. Go step by step. Don't, don't try to do too much at one, in, one, uh, in one step here. So I'm going to start with 7, positive 7, whoops, right over here, and I'm going to subtract negative 9. So that is going to be the same as positive 7 minus, sorry, adding the opposite sign, adding positive 9. And I've still got this add 6 over here, but we'll deal with that later. So 7 plus 9, I'm going to work forward 9 steps. Now 7 plus 9 is going to take me to 16. So together here, these are going to add up to 16. But I've still got this plus 6 left over. 
Okay, plus positive six. So I'm still facing the right. I'm still going to go forward six steps. That's going to get me 22. And I add those together. Now here, negative 17 tells me where I start. I'm starting way down here. It's negative 17. I'm going to add, so I'm facing the right, three. So from negative 17, I'm going to go to the right three steps. Now, it's, it is a little bit weirder when you look at these numbers here because... I mean, it, it looks like these numbers are getting smaller. Technically, they're getting larger, okay? But if you're just looking at the, the digits here that are, we're using here, yeah, yeah, I can see where you get confused with that. But so negative 17, 1 to the right would be negative 16, negative 15, negative 14. So when I put those together here, we're going to get negative 14 minus positive 1. So from negative 14... Minus means I'm going to go to the left, subtracting positive one. I'm going to take one step forward. That's actually going to take me to negative 15. I'm going to go to the left one more step. Okay. So I, I hope you're seeing how it's, we are starting to get kind of repetitive with the patterns here. Now, if you're, if your arithmetic is a little weak, then these things get to be, can be a little bit uh, more difficult, take a little bit more practice, but, but you'll get there. Let's take a quick look at a couple of word problems. It says the temperature in Edmonton on Christmas Day was negative 21 degrees Celsius. Due to a Chinook, on Boxing Day, it was 30 degrees warmer. Whew. What was the temperature? So what we've done here is we've gone from negative 21 degrees Celsius and we added positive 30 degrees Celsius. So we started along our number line here, we started at negative 21 and we added, meaning we we're facing to the right and we walked forward 30 steps. Now, when I walk forward from, from negative 21, walking forward 30 steps here, if I walk forward 21 steps, I'm going to be at zero. And then from 21 to 30, that's an additional nine steps. So it's going to be nine degrees Celsius. Now, the next day, the Chinook was gone, and the temperature dropped 15 degrees Celsius. So what's the new temperature? Okay, so we're doing another calculation here. So now we started at 9 degrees Celsius, and we're going to subtract 15 degrees Celsius. Okay, so starting at 9 on the number line here, subtract, we're going to go to the left, positive 15. Or another way to think about this, this is 9 degrees plus negative 15 degrees Celsius. In either case... When I go from 9, if I go to the left here, 9, I'm going to end up at 0. So how much further do I have to go? And the answer is, is 6. There's going to be 6 additional degrees. So it's going to be negative 6 degrees Celsius. Either way you look at it. So there you go. I hope that little bit of uh, an overview kind of helps get you comfortable with this idea of adding and subtracting. Energy.